Welcome to your podcast for everything health and wellness. I am Dr. Dex Makalintal, your doctor next door, and this is the eighth episode of Doctor's Notes. In today's episode, we will talk about food supplements, why they are so popular these days, and how to choose the right ones. With countless products on the market, it can be challenging to discern what truly benefits our health. Joining us in our discussion is Martina Salimbangon, Director of Operations of Organic Incorporated and Organic. It's more than just a brand, it is a movement for a healthier lifestyle. Hi, Marty. Thank you for your time. Hi, Doc. Thank you for having us. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yan, first of all, no, can you just give us a very brief background of yourself and what do you do at Organic? Okay, so I am Martina Salimbangon. You guys can call me Marty. Everyone close to me does. And I am the Director of Operations at Organique. Um, I am in charge of product development, all operations, anything to do with marketing sales. Parang lahat. Lahat na lang. You know, you have to wear multiple hats. Yes. Um, and Organique, as you know, Doc, Naman is a wellness, is a health and wellness um, company. We specialize in providing supplements and healthy sort of alternatives to the everyday food that we consume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, can you tell us more about Organic as a brand and how do you promote healthy lifestyles? Of course. So Organic was started by my parents, um, Elton and Kathy, and they used to work in the states. And my mom was a nurse and they ran a nursing home. And my mom realized, hey, we keep shoving medicine down people's throats as they're older. And kawawa naman. Like, you know, these these older people, like these elderly, um, they're living off these meds. And she decided with my dad that they wanted to bring sort of a healthy supplement, all organic, all natural supplement back to the Philippines and create this brand that helps people live their fullest lives without um, being dependent on medicine or um, being dependent on any sort of synthetic products. And we here, here at Organique, we promote a healthy lifestyle apart from like eating healthy and drinking like healthy supplements. You also have to live the healthy lifestyle. And how do you define a healthy lifestyle for you, for yourself? Oh, for me personally, it's a yeah, life personally. that's like lived in moderation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that you need to be like super, like everything is organic and like, you cannot eat meat or you kind of have dairy. I think everything in moderation, Aman, we're all um, here to enjoy like God's creation, right? And I think another thing that goes into health is like, uh, for me, I studied psychology. So I have a bachelor's in psychology and I really truly believe that the gut and the brain are like 100% connected. They are best friends and whatever you eat, um, it affects how you feel. So I believe a healthy lifestyle is eating foods that are right for our bodies that will help us feel our best every day. Mm, and to uh, help us feel our best every day, we have our premium products on, under Organic. So can you tell us more mm -hmm. about this? Yeah, so our flagship premium product is the 946 Premium Blend, the Acai Premium Blend. This blend was really made all organic, all natural. Um, we put in some like herbs and vitamins to help your body absorb acai and sort of make sure your body gets the full benefits of acai since it's so rich in antioxidants. So we put um, guarana, acerola, um, these sort of other like very small amounts of other like fruits to help your body sort of digest and like absorb all the antioxidants and benefits of acai and for you what are the uh, health benefits of you taking uh, organic acai premium blend i think um acai has many benefits but for me the flagship like the main benefit is like the antioxidant factor I think the one thing about antioxidants, as you know, Doc, and we've talk talked about this, is that it helps with your cell rejuvenation. And I think um, what people sort of don't realize is a lot of the food that they consume and like your stressors and like um, pollution even can help 
like deteriorate your cells and antioxidants and especially like acai it helps rejuvenate your cells protect it from all of this damage and stress which helps you in turn like stay healthier Mm -hmm. and um keep up your energy levels and yeah so it's really on top of your uh, food intake so that you can supplement or do you can um you can uh, jumpstart your uh, your vitamins and mm-hmm. minerals and these antioxidants if you are not consuming a totally healthy diet. Although, for, uh, for at this day and age, consuming consuming a healthy diet is actually um, really costly here here in the yes. Philippines. Yeah, and yeah. A practical uh, and about talking about practicality of food supplements. So this can be an add on to your uh, to your to your current diets. But mm-hmm. what do you say to Filipinos who think that it is an unnecessary expense? I think you have to look in your you have to look at life in long term. Mm-hmm. Um, at, at Organique, we believe in prevention way more than like curing someone. We want to make sure that like you, you live your best life. Like, do not live your life destroying your body until you reach a point where you just have to like your your body's so damaged that you cannot sort of live as you want anymore it's so easy nowadays i'm sure as you know like we're so stressed we have so much work on grabbing traffic especially the bear mines you yeah. know all of these little things they chip away at you mm-hmm. and for me i think investing in your health now and every single day of your life in the long term saves you so much not just money, like it saves you money, like hospitalization bills, but it also saves you like your peace of mind. You have more, like as you grow older, like you have more energy to play with your children or your grandchildren. Like you want to be present in life. And I think at Organique, we really promote that prevention and making sure that you have a healthy lifestyle and we supplement to that rather than um, destroy your life. And then one day you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do what I wanted. Like now I have the time, but my body doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. There are a lot of patients who actually come to me and mm-hmm. uh, they're, 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 they're saying na, sayang naman, hindi ko nagawa ito nung bata pa ako. Yeah. Or right now, nagahabol sila ng health nila. So they're, they're, they're running towards, uh, they, they want to regain back their health when they could have prevented the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the disease the illnesses uh, in the first place. And uh, it's so sad to to see these patients. Na sana na prevent natin yung mga sakit ninyo yeah. if we just uh, give you your uh, your boost of your uh, or mm-hmm. strengthen your immune system and uh, give you your antioxidants. So sayang. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing, Doc, too, adding on to that is I've noticed even people my age or maybe mm-hmm. like early thirties, they have GERD, they have mm-hmm. all of these like diseases already because uh, i think what people don't realize is the day and age that we live at too i'm not saying that the previous generation did not work hard but it's yeah. a different level of stressors yeah. now you know and these illnesses these diseases they are coming up a lot faster than people think it's not normal to not be able to digest at the age of 30 you know it's not normal to have like hyperacidity all the time or it's not normal to have good and these are things that you can prevent because once you have them that's forever, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, that's a that, that that's a good point. Now mm-hmm. uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of diseases that are really um, that are really here in this mm-hmm. generation that our parents did not have, and yeah. or they, they 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 had when they were at the age of forty or the age of fifty, but now yeah. at twenties or thirties we're experiencing it. So yeah, uh, yeah. Sayang, no kawawa, kawawa naman yung mm-hmm. yung, uh, yung generation if we don't uh, if we don't uh, do something about it. And um, there are misconceptions uh, with Filipinos when it comes to food supplements. What do you think are these common misconceptions, and how do you debunk them when you come across, say, for example, a friend telling you telling you that no, I, I don't I don't need that or or uh, or whatnot. Well, one of our biggest sort of um, barriers, I think, when people try our product, and um, of course, there's the price sensitivity of it. But another one is they think, nah, you know, I don't feel anything right now. My body's fine. I'm super healthy. Like vitamins are a myth. It's a. It's, I always hear stuff like that because vitamins do not have the like thirty minutes, thirty minute fast acting proponents as like let's say a Tylenol or a paracetamol right it's not instant and I think what I sort of tell people is that 
it took nine months for your body to be made in your mother. It's going to take some time for your cells to regenerate and for it to become like natural. But instead of thinking of a quick fix, again, you have to think of it sort of in a longer term. This is a lifestyle. It's not just you take vitamins once and then you're going to be good for like five years. Like You have to take it every single day. And then you start to notice these changes in your body. Your body starts to feel better. I think the biggest misconception is that it doesn't work because it doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. And again, it's a lifestyle. It's a choice that you make every single day to be healthy rather than um, an instant fix. Yes, uh, I, I, I certainly agree because if your diet does not give you enough vitamins and minerals, that is when and where you should give your supplements. So the yes. only way to the only way actually to to tell that is through a physical examination of your doctor, and of course uh, to to examine you properly, you can also do your laboratory examinations. And with that said, let's pause for a very short break. Uh, we'll be back after a few reminders. Enjoy life's natural goodness and celebrate health and wellness with Organic Acai, Brazil's superfood that is packed with loads of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. Take it all in and feel a stronger body with Organic Acai. Our immune system is our strongest line of defense against viruses and infections. Fortify it with a healthy lifestyle and the most reliable superfood, Organic Acai. It's not just a drink, it's a lifestyle. And we're back. Still with us is Organic Incorporated Director of Operations, Marty Salimbamon. Marty, welcome back. Hello. So let's talk about uh, yeah, let's talk about coffee. Do you love coffee? I love coffee. Yeah, it's I love a, your uh, I yeah. love Organic's uh, coffee Hello. coffee mix. Yeah, Thank so it's you. one of the favorites of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, not not re not just to uh, no, not just to promote no hindi naman sa mm -hmm. pag promote pero kasi um this coffee is what I what we actually drink. No, sa, sa, sa family then and then of and oh. then yeah yung pati yung partner ko pati yung uh, girlfriend mm -hmm. ko gusto gusto niya yung coffee mix oh uh, i'm so, so happy to hear that <laughs> yes and kasi nga healthy coffee drinks are a thing in the market these days and yeah. ayoko nang sa akin manggaling no can you tell mm -hmm. us more about organics coffee and what what are its health benefits sa inyong kumpanya of course. So our organic coffee is something that we're very proud of. Um, as we all know, Philippines is a very coffee-centric country. We all love our coffee. And I think the thing that stands out for Organique's coffee is that, one, we add acai to it. So there's a little bit of that antioxidant health kick. Because what a lot of people don't know is actually coffee beans in themselves, they also have antioxidant properties. It's just the amount that you consume. So we add acai and it sort of gives you like a boost, like an extra boost of your coffee's antioxidant without too much caffeine. Another thing that we do is we use um, raw cane sugar. So we don't use processed sugar. We, we try not to put preservatives or like really processed stuff in our foods because um, that can help that can actually make you sluggish or it can also make you crash after mm -hmm. your coffee. And then the last thing is that it's non-dairy creamer. So yep. it's actually like um, dairy free. So it's good for like your digestion. It doesn't irritate your stomach too much. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I also noticed that when I take your coffee, I don't have any palpitations. Because That's it's, a very uh, common. Uh -uh. I'm very proud of that. I think that has to do with like the added acai and also the fact that there's just, we don't, we use like raw cane sugar, you know, it's like those, the real stuff. So it doesn't trigger a lot of like palpitations in people, I find. Yeah. And even the, and even the, uh, the GERD. Oh, so yung, yung yeah. hyper acidity wala din eh. Uh, so, mm -hmm. kasi ako, you, if, if I, if I take other, uh, other mm -hmm. uh, coffee then kasi na, limbawa yung, yung native coffee namin, no? So, mm -hmm. Minsan mm talaga masakit sa sikmura eh. So, yan. So, si si Organic Acai na coffee mix. Maganda sa, ano, maganda sa sikmura. So, okay naman. Hindi siya, hindi siya nakaka, hindi siya nakakasakit. So, that's good. And then, you also have a chocolate variant for non-coffee lovers, right? So, can you tell us more about that? Yes. So, our inspiration for this chocolate variant is actually, I'm not sure if you have tried it, Doc, but you know those acai, chocolate covered acais? Like mm -hmm. that um, chocolate. So my brother, my younger brother, loves those chocolates ever since mm -hmm. he was a kid. And so when we tried to think of like making a caffeine-free um, drink, we thought of that. Because what is more comforting than hot chocolate, right? Like 
we, you know, in the Philippines, we love our chocolate drinks. We love our like um, hot chocolate, cold chocolate with pandesal. And we wanted to give a healthy alternative. Again, um, cacao beans actually have a bit of antioxidants as well. And so adding acai to that actually helps like your body like absorb a little bit more. So it gives you a little bit of a kick. Um, not as much as a premium blend, but it's still something. And uh, another thing is that we also use non-dairy creamer, same kind of thing as our coffee, where it's like raw cane sugar to make sure that your body gets all of that goodness. And it's, I find, I think a lot of people really like it. It does have a different taste than other chocolate mixes out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just worried of this because I, I, I do have, uh, I do have really a, uh, and what do you call this? A, uh, a reaction to, to chocolates. So I, oh, I haven't uh, tried no, something like that. But uh, I do have migraine. So that my my migraine is actually being triggered by anything chocolate. So anything chocolate, oh. uh, I, 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 try, I try to avoid. So okay. uh, yeah. I have, yeah. So yeah. And then, but uh, sabi ka natin, it has cacao. It has the antioxidants mm -hmm. from cacao. It also has the antioxidants from your acai. So giving mm -hmm. you more, uh, giving you more than just your average chocolate drink, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you also have capsules, right? So mm -hmm. uh, for those people who who do not want to take the uh, the premium blend mm -hmm. or 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 anything else, they and they are uh, they are used to taking capsules. Um, what are the benefits? Is this uh, is this uh, the same as your Azai premium blend, or how do they need uh, to to take this once? Mm. So our capsules we made as a parang travel friendly version because uh -huh. as everyone knows, you know, it's really hard to take a liquid with you. And yeah. because our premium blend is made with aseptic technology and no preservatives, once you open it, you have to refrigerate it. So sometimes when people are traveling, you know, they don't have access to that, but we don't want them to lose like their ability to have these antioxidants. So our acai capsules are pure freeze dried acai. Like it's just a sai in there with a veggie a veggie capsule. So the veggie cap capsule is like vegan, gluten free. So it doesn't um, stay in your body like other synthetics. And once the capsule sort of digests, like you take it, it literally melts in water. So it will melt in your like stomach acid and like release the sai really fast. You're supposed to take it like per serving. For how, for how much you would take of the premium blend, like let's say you mm -hmm. take 30 ml, you take two capsules. Okay. Um, it's a good alternative if you do not have access to the premium blend. But I will say that it's just pure acai, so it does not have the same sort of synergy as the premium blend does. Yeah, with your and blend. yes, uh, that's, that's good. And we have to remind our viewers as well that mm -hmm. food supplements do not really cure diseases. Yes. But they do help in terms of disease prevention and management. Can you tell us more mm -hmm. about this? Yeah. So like we discussed earlier in this podcast, I was talking about how acai is very rich in antioxidants and it helps with rejuvenating your cells. And a lot of illnesses and sickness comes from you having either a weak immune system, your cells are not um, regenerating fast enough, or there's a mutation in the cells. And so when we talk about supplements at Organique, we are trying to help with prevention, making sure that when you take, when you have a healthy lifestyle and you pair it with these supplements, your body is at like the best condition it can be as you are going through your life. Of course, disclaimer, we cannot cure diseases. There are yeah. some times you can do everything right some, and you still get a disease but it's more of doing your best effort to prevent that and also making sure in your day-to-day -day life, you're not sluggish, you don't have brain fog, you're operating well, like you're feeling like your best self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. And I saw on your uh, on your, on, your, on your mm -hmm. other packages that these products are organic, these products are vegan mm -hmm. and halal certified. Why is this important? Why, why put this in the labels? Well, for us... Um, the first one I want to discuss is the halal. For mm -hmm. We want to be accessible to as many people as we can. We understand that, of course, people who are halal, they have restrictions. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that our product was, again, like accessible for everyone. That's also why we made it organic and vegan. Because the thinking of it was more of, if you are someone who eats 
not organic or organic it doesn't matter to you but if you're someone who eats organic it it matters a lot Mm -hmm. um so it's sort of one for inclusivity to make sure that everyone can sort of have this like wellness health and wellness like have access to it another thing is because we believe that um if you are trying to be healthy and especially if um we're giving these like supplements we want to make sure that they're safe for the body like they're Mm -hmm. good for the body we in a general public like you cannot you can't guess everyone's allergies or everyone's sensitivities but for the most part if you uh we went organic and vegan and halal certified to make sure that as much as possible our supplements are actually really good for people's bodies we're not putting any synthetics we're not putting any anything that would irritate their um gut anything that would irritate their like immune system yeah Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's good. And finally, when can where can our viewers buy organic products and where can they reach you for more information? Yes, yeah, so you can buy Organics products in um, Mercury Jug, Watson's, Lazada, Shopee, South Star Jug, uh, Metro, Rose Pharmacy, and most, if not all, leading drugstores and um, supermarkets. You can reach us um, by our Facebook page, we are at Organique and also our Instagram at Organique Asai. All right. Thank you very much for, for that. And thanks for your time, Marty. That's all the time that we have uh, for with you for the show. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. It is time for us to answer your questions dito sa Ask Doc Dex. So nagpadala kayo ng mga katanungan sa social media, sasagutin natin yan dito ngayon sa ating Ask Doc Dex. Dito lang po sa Doctor's Notes of the Podcast. Unang katanungan, ano daw ang ibig sabihin kung tumataas ang creatinine? Ang creatinine po, no, i-define lamang natin, ito ay lason sa katawan. So usually ito po ay na tatanggal sa inyong katawan sa pamamagitan po ng inyong mga kidneys. So ang kwento niyan, kinakailangan po yung creatinine matatanggal yan at dapat nasa normal levels lang. So kung tumataas yan, ibig sabihin maaari na nagkakaroon po ng sira ang inyong kidneys. Kasi yung kidneys po natin ay isang organ ng biotransformation and elimination. Ang ginagawa ng kidneys, nagtatanggal siya ng lason. So kung nawawala o nasisira po yung function ng inyong kidneys, maaari po na maaaring tumataas talaga yung kreatinin nyo. O ang isang marker niyan ay ang pagtaas ng inyong kreatinin. So uh, titingnan din natin dyan ang inyong kreatinin clearance. Kukompute yan ng inyong mga doktor. Kapag ka nakompute yan, isa stage yan kung ano ang stage ng inyong kidney disease. Pagka nalaman na po natin, ang pinagmumulan ng pagtaas ng inyong kreatinin, maaring ito ay sa sobrang dami ng protina na nakakain ninyo, maaari din po na ito ay dahil sa tumataas na presyon, o maaari din po na tumataas ang inyong blood sugar, kaya naaapekto ng inyong kidneys, o mismong kidneys ninyo ang mayro problema na talaga, maaari po nating mabigyan ng solusyon yan sa pagkontrol ng mga sakit. So yun ang kwento ng inyong kreatinin. So magpunta sa inyong mga nephrologists para mabigyan kayo ng tamang abiso kung ano ang dapat gawin. At pagdating naman po sa inyong mga pagkain, pupunta po kayo sa inyong mga registered nutritionist dietitians. Pangalawang tanong para sa ating episode ngayong gabi. Paano daw kung tumataas naman ang triglycerides? Ang triglycerides po ay taba sa inyong mga katawan. Ito ay yung inyong storage ng fat. Kumbaga, ngayon, Ang kwento, kapag ka sumosobra po ang inyong refined carbohydrates na nakakain at sobra din yung taba na nakakain ninyo, po pwedeng tumataas yung triglycerides. Ang problema dito, kapag ka pumataas yung triglycerides natin, maaaring tamaan din ang inyong mga puso. That's why, kapag ka ganyan, pinakamainam na iwasan ang mga refined carbohydrates, mga fast food, no? yung mga white bread, white pasta, white rice, Iwasan din po yung sobrang matatabang pagkain. No, so low salt, low fat din paminsan kasi minsan kasakasama din yan ay tumataas din yung inyong blood pressure. So ang kwento niyan, kinakailangan po ay bawasan nyo yung mga ganyan at nag e kayo. Attain, no, at try to attain and maintain your ideal body weight pa rin. At pangatlo, no, dugtong yata din ito ng katanungan ng isang nagtanong sa atin kanina, paano mabilis pumayat o paano kung mabilis pumayat? So, Kung paano kung mabilis po may at, maaaring may sakit, no? Maaari din po na masyadong deprived ng pagkain, no? So kapag ka ganyan pinakamay na magpa-check up kayo. Kung ang tanong ay paano yung dapat gawin para mabilis po may at, that's another that's another uh, story. Kapag ka po ganyan yung katanungan ninyo, 
ang dapat po natin gawin dito ay magkaroon kayo kasi ng caloric deficit. So, yung caloric deficit, ang ginagawa dito, mas marami kayong calories out o yung inyong expenditure kesa po sa inyong calories in o yung inyong mga kinakain. So, ang kwento nito, kinakailangan mas kakaunti yung kakainin ninyo sa inyong maintenance calories. Halimbawa, yung maintenance calories ninyo, 1,800 calories yan. Po, pwede nyo bawasan yun, no? and then imomonitor po ninyo yung kakainin ninyo, imamessure nyo yan hanggang sa malaman ninyo kung gaano karami yung calories nung inyong nakain sa buong araw. At dapat yun ay so, sumatotal nun, mas mababa siya dapat sa 1,8 para magkaroon kayo ng deficit, no? hindi surplus. Kasi kapag ka mas marami po yung kinakain ninyo, mas marami yung calories in, mas mataas din po no, yung inyong magiging na timbang. Pero kapag ka mas mababa yung inyong calories in kaysa sa inyong calories out, mas magiging mas mataas yung chance na maglulus tayo ng weight. So ganoon lang siya ka simple. Ang tanong siguro, Dok, papaano malalaman kung gaano karami ang maintenance calories ko? Meron po tayong mga calculators online. Pwede nyo po tingnan yung tdee.net at po pwede rin po ninyong i-measure ang inyong mga sa pumamagitan po ng MyFitnessPal at iba pa rin po naman ng mga applications na nagtuturo kung gaano karaming calories ang isang pagkain. At ayun, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nagtanong. This portion is brought to you by Organic California. For more information, visit their website at www.organic.com.ph And that's it for our episode today. Follow me on my socials. Ganda dyan po yung Dr. Dex Makalintal on Facebook, on TikTok, and on YouTube, and Dex Makalintal on Instagram. Follow this podcast on Spotify, rate us five stars, and please, 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 please share this episode to your friends. I also have a medical documentary show on 1PH. Catch our episodes every Saturday at 11.30 a.m. I am Dr. Dex Makalintal. Till the next episode of Doctor's Notes. Ingat.